Hey everybody, welcome to episode two of the Energy Tank Podcast. How's everybody doing? In uh, a minute. Well, in a minute. I'm doing good, I know that. And I know that I have a lot left in the tank. Yeah. I have a lot left in the tank. Yep, we always do. We always, right when we're empty, we always just find more in there to keep going. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm tired. I can tell. Uh, hey, everybody! Welcome. This yeah. is our, uh, like you said, the second episode, and we're 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 enjoying the show already. We're really giddy about uh, doing more of these. Oh fuck yeah, we are because we could talk for hours, and that proves in our last episode. Our last episode was like 106 minutes. Yeah, and uh, since an our last minutes, since our last episode, um, one of the most anticipated games in the last couple of years has come out: Red Dead Redemption Two. Ugh. <laughs> Apparently you're not excited. I honestly, I never played the first one. I never oh. played Red Dead Redemption. I never played uh, Red, Dead was it Red Dead Revolver, which I think was like the first one. Yeah. I never played any of those games. I think Capcom put that one out, which is weird. I don't remember. I did. I just. I never cared. That that shit never got me. I, I could just uh, play uh, what it got, I could play six guns on my fucking phone if I wanted to play some western. Uh, there's also the game. That game off free to play. Yeah, there's that too, which I had that at one point, but I never played it. Which, uh, by the way, the the game Gun on 360 starred uh, Brad Dourif. Did it? It did. And don't worry, no Star Trek alert, because uh, I've done him three times already. <sighs> yeah, you do do guys a lot. <laughs> that, w- that would have been the way to work in the Star Trek alert, but I was like, nah, I'll just, I'll just mention it. By the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about with the Star Trek alert, everybody, uh, we have a movie podcast where that happens sometimes, so check that out. And I don't know what it's called. What's it called now? We we rebranded. What? Our movie podcast well, at night at the movies. Oh uh, well, yeah, but we haven't done the whole releasing of it yet. You told me to wait till November. Well, yeah. I mean, well, we changed the name of the Instagram, so and our fans know that the rebrand is yeah. coming. So it hasn't yeah, taken the, a change on changed... the actual service yet, but. No, we've changed the Instagram. The Instagram is now uh, I think Tim and James Podnet. Yeah. Which stands for the Tim and James Podcast Network. We're Since expanding. we're just taking over the fucking world. I, and God, we're just taking over the globe. We really owe it all to our fans for listening and liking and subscribing to helping us get to this point. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> we do. Uh, so I, I did play the first... I'm pretty sure I played most of Red Dead Revolver, and I beat and played the DLC for Fall, uh, Fallout for Red Dead uh, Redemption. Um, okay, I follow. I will say that that game had one of my favorite DLCs, which is the Undead Nightmare. I heard, I heard that was actually really like, that was really cool. But I never fucking played it. Um, because you could get, you could find the four horses of the apocalypse and ride them. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, and they had different status effects. So like, if you were riding pestilence, then people within like a certain radius of you got really sick, some shit like that. Well, that's mean. It's pretty awesome though. Mm. I mean, the the horse for a uh, uh, war looks. I mean, that's like on fire. It's pretty rad. Well, that's always cool. Fucking like, I know it's a shitty movie, and I know I'm bringing that movie in our video game podcast. It was. But remember the first Ghost Rider movie? I do. Like it was pretty badass when he was on the horse and the horse was on fire. Like that was pretty legit. That yeah, that honestly was pretty uh pretty. That that movie had a lot of cool imagery. It was just because it's Ghost Rider. Remember that? Remember the second one where it did. he was like interrogating the criminal and he's like he's scratching at the door. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <Damn> it. <laughs> we have to Man, do those movies. But movie like I. Movie show. Uh, I do. I like the second one better than the first. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, we had um, what's his what's his name? Uh, uh, oh, uh, Christopher Lambert was in the second one. Yeah, which I read something that like, oh, he he did like six months of sword training for he this did. part of the movie. <laughs> he did, and it's like he didn't fucking fight nobody, and he died like instantly. I don't know why he needs that much that long of sword training. He was in Highlanders. But yeah, but that was like 50 years ago. He's gonna forget something. It was in the 80s. It wasn't that long ago. I mean, it's a long time. But That's a long like, time for him. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Well, the Christopher Lambert's old. Of course, it's in a uh, forget stuff. You know. 
So I really like the first Red. Uh, I'm just gonna say first Red Dead because this is a it's kind of a new series. So Redemption One, that was really good. I liked it, but uh, and I was initially excited when the second one was showed off and stuff. But I don't know. It's just not it. It no, it never grabbed me. Like it's out, but I'm not like I don't wish I was playing it right now. Yeah, me neither. I don't give a shit. I couldn't even get into Grand Theft Auto Five, so I'm not gonna try and jump into another open ass world, especially a western. No cars, no none, just horses. Fuck well, that. like the story, you couldn't get into it. GTA Five? Yeah. 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 Just it sucked. It didn't it, having three people didn't grab me. Yeah. Like having to do like just I didn't like that at bank all. Bank robbing missions. No. It was just not a very me, good one to me. Just give me Tommy Versetti and let's do let's go. Exactly, right? Yep. Give me the good San Andreas. Where's CJ at? Where can I get fat and then have to work out again at the gym? San Andreas like, is give me right. that game. A lot of people talk about uh, that as like being the best one, but it's 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 not as good as Vice City I, still. As as Vice There's too much. I can see that. You know what? Vice City had the best map and environment because the 80s kick ass. It, the but music San too. Andreas had... Yeah, and then, but San Andreas had the good gameplay and things you could do. Like, uh, you could I guess eat, so. you could fucking get tattoos, your haircuts, all that kind of customization. Yeah, I think if you put all that San Andreas shit in the in the Vice City world, then it's probably the best. Oh, no, for sure. That's that's what I'm saying. That, yeah. I'm, that's what I'm combining the two. I'm saying, I'm not saying, because like, if you really think about it, like, San Andreas was a lot of, like, just open, like, land garbage. It's like five. Like, the city was like... Yeah, kind of. But it was worse because there was three three cities you could be in that were tiny, but then the rest of the continent or rest of the island was just like nothing. Yeah, like it, it's like when with, with five, like when we were playing it online, this this map is huge and it's like there's a lot of shit kind of in the game. But when you're with a friend online, just kind of going around, there's like nothing to do. Like you can go and yeah. play golf, but aside from that, there's like there's nothing like maybe I don't, I don't always want to do like a mission or just a race like I want something yeah exactly just like something I can either live or drive and cruise like no just uh. like that was always my thing with with Destiny and I said this a lot to the friend I play Destiny with all the time where I would like this game more because they build as like an MMO kind of but I would like it if there was something just fun in it to do Aside from yeah, just shooting things. But the levels was, weren't there was never anything. the levels weren't that open. Talk there should be there should be like at, when you're at the central hub, there should be things to do, like that's fun with just yeah. a friend, just bullshit. Put some skee ball in there, some fucking that's what that's ex get drunk exactly one of the examples I said. Give me bowling, like in GTA Four. Yeah, I don't know why that's not back in Five. That pissed me off. Yeah, but it's because Roman. Uh, Roman uh, call your ass, man. It's your, it's your cousin. Let's go bowling. Honestly, I, I miss Roman because at least he wanted to go do stuff. No one in 5 wants to do anything. There's nothing to do. Yeah, I miss Roman, too. At least someone called me. Exactly. I mean, well, I call you now, right? For show really? stuff. Uh, Yeah, but that's it. I, I don't know. It's, you know... Yeah, but I mean, after these, after this 31 Days of Horror, I'm going to hear a lot less from you. You only talk to me every day because we have to, because we put something new out every day. The, how, but no, we still got, now we have multiple shows, so we have to schedule... Yeah, but... We have to schedule the same amount of shit, it's just different. It's movies, games, yeah, and Digimon. I mean, yeah, but I mean, every... We could... We can lay out a schedule now and be like, okay, Tuesdays we do the video game and the movies, and then Wednesday we do Digimon, and then like that's it. We don't need to do as many recordings as we has have been because of the 31 Days of Horror. Well, uh, yeah, but remember, we can backlog stuff now, so we have it ready. We got it ready to go. And we have our breaking news segments I guess. randomly. Yeah, they are random. There hasn't been much news lately. It sucks. Uh, no. Uh, well, I mean, there's been some like wrestling stuff, but okay, we don't have a wrestling podcast, so. We don't know where to put yeah, that. Yeah, we can't put on it. Yeah. Yeah, Roman uh, Reigns had to quit because he's a pussy. Uh, wow. Uh, wow. What? No, I can't do not, my duties. That's Shut not up. what... Oh, Jesus Christ. What? I don't I don't think having cancer qualifies as being a pussy. He's not cancer. He has that uh, respiratory thing. 
No, Luke. Uh, you know what leukemia is? No, right? not Luke Garrick's. No, that's yeah. Oh, that's like a, oh oh. He has that. Yes. Oh, that's my mom has that. It just it's just your joints and shit. Of course, it's no. gonna flare up in the winter. No. What the fuck are you talking about? Fibromyalgia? N no what? Yeah. Le Isn't that another word for it? That's no, like a leukemia. I just not ringing a bell. You're gonna get us like off kicked off the internet before we even like get a foothold in it. How? I thought he just had a fucking rest. This isn't bell. even the podcast to do this kind of shit. This is serious. I'm just hey, I'm being honest. I have no fucking idea. I thought he was so. Uh, he was Red Dead Redemption. So De Red Dead Redemption Two uh, is out. Oh, that's why. And he I've quit seen. Let's uh, go home and play that all the time. I'm like five Can't be a seconds fighting away champion from when he's too... ending my recording. <laughs> <laughs> I keep mine going though. Uh, uh, why are we talking about this the whole time? We're, we're talking about other shit. Who gives a shit about this? So we had an idea of a, a bit of like a get to know us segment, and um, yeah, I did. One of the easiest ideas to uh, kind of you know. This is a video game show. One of the best ways to get to know us and our tastes is, what are our top five favorite video games of all time? So we and this is all time, all across systems, all yes. across genres, ages, anything. Yeah, and keep in mind, we're, we didn't put them in any specific order because that just oh I no, I, it no, hurts no. too hard. There's no way I'd be able to like pick number one out of like everything. That's too fucking hard. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So um, I guess we'll go down these and we'll kind of take turns naming one. But uh, before I give my actual list, I do have an honorable mention because it's yeah. again it's very hard to narrow it down. And there's one game that didn't make the list that I spent so much time on and I always think of. But in the grand scheme of things, it has to get get knocked down out of the five. Um, so my first honorable, first and only honorable mention is Fallout Three. And we talked about it a lot on our last episode. Yeah, we did. How can you not talk about it? I, I know. It's hours upon hours in that game. No matter how long I played it, um, every time I would just be walking around the wasteland, I still found something new. Yeah, pretty much. It, yeah. You didn't, re like, when you first walked around, you realized how fucking big it was. Yeah, like it's huge. The radius was like, yeah, it was all right size. You're like, oh, I'm already at the edge, okay. But then when you really start to get into that city district, there was all kinds of different markers for you to find in the subways, the uh, tunnels, the, all the underground shit too. It's just like, god, there was so much shit to find. There, w there was a lot, and all the tunnels were like my least favorite aspect of that game, just because it's just, it's just well, so dark. And same here. Yeah, but everything above it was. Oh, it's ghouls. Great. Fuck ghouls. I'll tell you, it did the open world aspect a lot better than Zelda did. Jeez, again which, with this? Which, which, well, listen. <laughs> it, I have a problem with that game, and it hurts, because... I know you do. Uh, Alright, do you have any honorable mentions? Anything that kind of uh, always yeah, pops I, out I at you? Yeah, I could throw one out there. Alright. Yeah, I could, I could throw one out there. Mostly because it's kind of nostalgic, but it's kind of like revolutionary in my opinion is uh it was I got my Xbox 360 and this was the first game that I had bought for Are you going to say Day Sex? Cuz I think Huh? Are you going to say Day Sex? No. Oh, okay. Oh, I think you said Day Sex. I was no. Like, Wait, what? No. Um no, this was like one the um, What's that word? It was one of the launch titles for the, the 360. Okay. It's, uh, I think, 2006's Prey. Oh, yeah. It wasn't, I never played that one. It wasn't like... Yeah, it wasn't super marketed, but it was like 20 bucks, and I bought it, you know, because I needed a game for my 360, and I was just in like enthralled with like the story, and like you played as a Native American. Like, you never fucking play as Native Americans in games. Well, besides Assassin's, you know, Creed, Assassin's 3. Creed 3, but this came out way before this, you know? Why do people hate Assassin's Creed 3? Because, you know what? Honestly, it was probably what you're saying about Zelda, because there's a middle part, the frontier, where it's just open and you just do nothing. 
I guess. It's just I don't annoying know. if you're trying I to like run from game. Philly to New York and shit like that. I didn't mind it, but I think the Desmond shit kind of threw me off too, because that's when the story got real convoluted. Oh, boy, yeah. Oh, uh, Turok had a Native American uh, main character. Oh, was he? Okay. I, th- I think well, so. Well, again, it's, it's Not very rare. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's very rare. But but just the way it played and like the idea of it and the the mechanics of it when you had walked on those things and the world went upside down and then you got small on that little planet. Like, it was just really fucking innovative and I, I loved the shit out of that game. Yeah, I, I... Was the one that came out a couple of years ago... I don't think it was anything like that, was it? No, fuck Because no. I hated I the new bought one. bought it, and I was super disappointed, yeah. Yeah. The Prey 2 that was going to come out, that footage looked incredible, but then it got canned, and yeah, then this new the, one got made. Yeah, for the made, fucking it like time shit. it was? Yeah. God, it looked amazing. It did. I wish we got that game. It'd be some fucking... Yeah, fuck yeah, you're like basically some intergalactic bounty hunter on yeah. some planet capturing people. Yeah. It's like and you were he... supposed to run into uh, the main dude from the first one, and it was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's like that's one of the games that's like Silent Hills that... God, I wanted it so bad, but we're just, it's never going to happen. Yeah, and we're never going to have another scary game that's like on that par of like Silent Hill, too. Unless... You said Evil Dead, but... Eh. Evil Dead? The movie. Sorry, not Evil Dead, I'm sorry. Evil Within. Oh, Evil Within 2 is, is great. Yeah, but I see, I liked Outlast. To me, Outlast was like uh, the last real spooky game I played. Eh, well, you, played Evil uh, Within you know it's good. I don't know. God damn it. It wasn't on sale, otherwise I would have bought it when I bought Resident Evil I don't like 5. games, I feel like there's nothing to... Like, All that shit. Isn't that game you just walk around with a light and a camera? No, you're trying to get out, find, discover what happened in this asylum, and then you're running away from crazy people trying to fucking rape you with their ding-dongs out. Eh, sounds lame. Um, it's pretty good. I liked it. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Uh, okay, I guess we'll just dive right into the top five what? now. Um, All right, me first. Uh, okay. All right, one of the <laughs> my number five on my list again in no particular order, but it's just yeah. number five. Uh, Outlast for Xbox One. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, but I I just talked about it, so that's why I just wanted to go first. Now it's your turn. Yeah, you you said when I. I'm gonna be mad when I saw your list, and some of them I didn't even know what they were. Yeah. And some of them was like, "Fuck, Outlast, really?" Oh, fuck you. Of all the hey, you talk line. about your number, f- you talk about your number five. I gotta go. I'll be right back. Where, uh, where were you? I'll where be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. No, I just gotta leave the room. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, talk about your number five. Gotta go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know what uh, that guy's doing, but um, we didn't talk about this beforehand. But uh, I don't want to talk about my list if he's not here cuz part of the part of the good thing is going back and forth on stuff. So let's see uh see what's going on here. Oh, I heard w- there's like a reporter, I don't know what website, but he gave Red Dead like a, a 7 out of 10 and I guess it was dropping the aggregate score to like a 97 or something and he started getting death threats from people for it can can anyone in the comments explain why the fuck a, a score matters like why you have to justify your purchase with a, a review score that from somebody you've never met who may have completely different tastes than you it's so bizarre to me like I'm not big in the RPG market, but I don't get, like, I don't flip my shit when somebody gives an RPG 10 out of 10, just because I may not be into those games. It's really, uh, it's really weird. I, th- I think, uh, there's, there's, God, there's a problem with people. I don't, I can't understand it. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Now I have to frantically search for um, gaming news stories because I don't want to get into my list. Fuck yeah, I agree too, buddy. That was a great game. <sighs> yeah, I didn't get my list yet. Yeah, oh. You're supposed to do your number five. No, I'm not going to get my list if you're not here to talk about it and say that it's shit or whatever. Uh, so, right, well, I just start talking about... <laughs> oh, god damn it. Uh, okay. I'll number, hear the podcast, huh? Number five. I'm tired. Gonna... Yeah, I... Okay. Okay, we're gonna go OG really quick here. Um, we're gonna talk about Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo. Oh, gay. Fuck, no, I it's not. When I was gone. This is one of the best games ever made, 
And it's so weird no, because it's not. the rumor is that Miyamoto hated it, but it's one of the fucking funnest games I've ever played in my life. I still uh, the play, stupid play this shit all the time. D-level and the stupid carts? Yeah, no. That's the second one. Uh, I'm talking about Donkey Kong Country 1, the OC, with DK and Diddy Kong. Although, d number two is great, too. Uh, hey, are you, you going to rent the, since you have the Since you have the game fly, are you going to rent the uh, returns for the Switch? With the... the, Donkey the Kong uh, probably, Donkey yeah. Donkey Kong Country Returns? Although I played one on the Wii when it came out, and it wasn't—it's not—it's not the same. <laughs> but it's well, a lot of people fun. said this one was better for the Switch. They said, a lot of people said the one for the Switch was really good. Uh, I mean, it's definitely on my list after I get through um, Super Mario Odyssey. Which, by the way, uh, uh, no, we're in the middle of a list. Yeah, I'll I'll save that later. Yeah, after we get the list, I'll talk about okay. Odyssey. Not a review, just All like, right, my thoughts. Yeah, so, just a little, little little discussion. So Donkey Kong Country. Um, God, I played through it so many times. I desperately want the SNES games to start coming out on the Switch so I could get that and play it anywhere I go. They should. We have we both have that online, so they should release it soon. I I hope so. I mean, I I feel like we're not gonna get SNES games for probably a year, which sucks. But uh, which is horseshit. But whatever. I know. Just fucking release them, Nintendo. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so uh, what else do you got? All right, my number four, just in the order of, the, of my list, not importance. Uh huh. Uh, I believe you have it too, so we can both talk about it. Is oh, okay. uh, Bioshock for the Xbox 360? Oh well, I have a different Bioshock. Oh, you have a different Bioshock? I have yep. the original Bioshock. I debated which one to put, but uh, it was mm. a fine choice. I as you know, as good as Infinite was. It does not replace that first scene of go going up in that little submarine over the little mountain and just seeing Rapture. Oh my God, that it's just pretty incredible. Was amazing. And then it was just a good game with like the plasmids and then the weapons and the fucking splicers and it's scary. But I, I fucking love the shit out of that, that game. game. Was that's, like that's a rev definitely on my list. Was a revolution in storytelling in games. I feel like fucking yeah, it was finding yeah. the fucking uh, recordings and hearing the story of. How everything went down, and then the twist in the end, which I won't spoil it. That's honestly my favorite way to tell a story. Yeah, finding pieces of just the finding story. bits and pieces of it as you go. It was so intriguing. Mm -hmm. It was, and then when you finally, finally understood like who you were, and it was like, oh Jesus Christ, you were listening to tapes about that, and like, yeah, that's you know, it was just it was fucking insane. And the would you kindly thing, which, uh, man, what a. Uh, what a like a big twist. Yes. Still one of my most memorable moments in games. Definitely. I fuck I fucking love the shit out of that game. Um Wasn't that main character sort of an Eve American too in that game? Or was it I feel like no. I hinted at that. He was No, his name was Jack or something like that. No, he was yeah. the son of Andrew Ryan, so he's just some white dude. Okay. Um well, yeah, continuing from that, my Whoa. number four in order is Bioshock Infinite. Um, oh. Now, I'll admit that, that I got super fucking, like, holy shit at that first teaser trailer when yeah. that weird big hand do threw you out the window and everything got bright and you were in the clouds. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, there, the things, there were two things in it that kind of bring it down a bit. One is mm. the track thing wasn't implemented as good as it could have been. Uh, yeah, it was kind of annoying sometimes. Um, but that that's not too bad. The other thing that's a little more worse than that is that it kind of, in the middle, of, it drags a bit. A little bit. It fucking does, doesn't it? Could have trimmed a bit. And the, the last fight is kind of lackluster. But honestly, so is it's the same in the first one. That's the first, the boss of the first game isn't very great either. Wait, which one? The, uh... It, the first boss. Well, yeah, yeah. That was it was kind of a pain in the ass because you had to keep fucking shooting the fuck out of them using plasmids on them. Uh, I mean, yeah, but it was it wasn't hard. It was just it was weird. Like it's just it's just this big clay guy. He looked weird. Um, and and infinite, it's just like a big like battalion battle. But it was cool because yeah. you got to command the big um, what was his name? Bird, the, the, right? The, the big bird. Songbird. Yeah, songbird. Isn't the songbird? Yes. But that game, Infinite, man, the the story and the way that it was told, it also told the story through um, the uh, 
the voxes, uh, the voice yeah. box or whatever, um, and the stuff with Elizabeth, how she was really helpful and she didn't get in the way. It wasn't an escort mission. She actually was super helpful. Yeah. She never got hurt. Like, she didn't die, I don't she think. She constantly threw me ammo and shit, and that was great. Yeah. Constantly threw me coins and, like, here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just random shit. But yeah, the. See, that's, and, how, that's a companion, not not the fucking president's daughter in fucking Resident Evil 4. Oh, my God. That's kind of. I stopped playing that on my stream just because I'm at that part where you play as her, and I'm just fucking dreading it. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It's cool once you beat the game first because you could put her in a suit of armor and it's fine. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Oh, and so, then she's protected. That's yeah, and so it's just you just shoot or whatever. Because I was I was at this part where it was really hard and I was about to beat it and I was shooting someone who was picking her who was like holding her taking her away, but I accidentally shot her and I had to redo the whole fucking thing and I got pissed. That's right. You yeah. You sent me that clip. And I I stopped my stream. Hilarious. Yeah. I went back the next day and beat it. You got it. quiet and just ended it? <laughs> yeah, I beat it off stream just because I was like, I'm just going to get mad, so I'm just going to beat this real quick and then start the stream again. Oh, that was so good. I remember that. Uh, um, But yeah, Infinite. Uh, Troy Baker's performance, and I don't know, I don't remember who voiced Elizabeth, but she did really good too. Everything, everything about that is, it's great to me. So that's my number four. Yeah, it's a shame that's going to be the last Bioshock. I know it's, but I guess if you're gonna end it, that's a pretty good note to end on, I guess. True. True. Better true. to go out with a bang than a whimper, right? Like Halloween. Yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, what do you got? My numero tres is uh, an old school one too, although not as old school as your Donkey Kong. Okay. Uh. It's on the Dreamcast. Everybody oh, nice. remember the Dreamcast? One of the one of the greatest systems ever made. And that is not sarcasm. I love the shit out of my Dreamcast. I never had one. Um, I never had one. Really, man, I th I loved the fuck out of it. I, I didn't have I a did. Saturn. I went straight from I went straight from Genesis to to Dreamcast. <laughs> uh, I, w I wish I had the Dreamcast because there were a lot of good um, fighting games that got put on that that I that weren't on anything else. Mm. Yeah, not just fucking. It was a. I liked it. It was a good system all around to me. Yeah. Um. So the game I chose is I. I don't think it was popular. I don't know if it's a cult game, like later on, but it, I don't think it was mainstream. Is a uh, Kiss Psycho Circus. I, I've never heard of this whatsoever. You never heard of it? Oh, this game. No. Is fucking. Is this the band? So Kiss? good to me. Yeah. It's yes. The band Kiss. They had a comic series uh, of Kiss Psycho Circus. And I think the game is Kiss Psycho Circus Unborn Child or the the, uh, the Unborn Child or something like that. Because huh. you start off, there's four different like worlds, so like levels kind of, and you play as each member of the uh, band. And you go along the way doing missions and killing demons and you get pieces of your armor, which is them, you know, when they're all decked out in their full, you know, Kiss attire. And it's just pretty fucking dope. It's a first-person game, and so it was a little hard to get used to because it w there wasn't two joysticks on the Dreamcast like there is nowadays. So you could either use the left stick to walk up, down, you know, walk forward, back, left, right, and then use Y, B, A, X to um, to look around. You know, you got to hold B, and then you look to the right. You know, it was just kind of annoying. So what I ended up doing was I ended up making Y to move forward, A to move back, B to move le right, and then X to move left, and then I used the left uh, stick to look around, because it was easier to look around and aim with the joystick than it was buttons. Apparently Psycho Circus is also an album from them. I'm looking at gameplay right now. Oh, is it? Yeah. Nice. It's old and shitty, but it it's It looks like so fucking I Mace fucking... the Dark Age or something, or like a first-person uh, like Diablo, kind of. You have like a yeah, you remember that old game? Yeah, you remember that old game? Uh, Gauntlet. So weird. It kind of reminded me of that. I love, yeah, I love Gauntlet. Fucking, it was, but it was so good. It was just first-person shooter. You just shot the shit, killed shit, and then at the end of the game, you, at the end of the level, you fought like a boss, and but you're all decked out in your full attire, like you had your boots, your your uh, cleaves, your armor, and then your face paint, and it made you like more stronger. This is so fucking weird. In the last level, you used when you played as uh, the Demon King. Or the, not the uh, yeah the demon, of course. Yeah, it was so good. I love the shit out of it. 
That's uh, I, yeah, I I guarantee you're probably the only person who has that game on their list. Oh, probably. And I I don't I don't think I ever beat it. I need to find a way to plug my Dreamcast back in and try playing it again. Huh. I'll stream that from my phone. You can you can <laughs> I'll, uh, just, I'll set my phone up. You could always um emulate it. I I know you'd have to come over and show me because I'm not I, I wouldn't know how to set it up on my laptop. You just have to fucking just I YouTube it. I just I just set up Steam this morning and was able to play Serious Sam on my laptop and I fucking like geeked out out of bed. Yeah, I know. And I was able to plug my Xbox controller into it and use my controller and I fucking got even more hard. God damn it! All right, moving on to my third. Um, I don't really have a particular a, spe a specific game for this, but I guess if I had to narrow it down, it maybe the third one or the newer one. But uh, I have Devil May Cry on my list. It's got to be there. Um, this is one of the most uh, exciting games, kind of no matter which one you pick up and play. The, no, it's the, not. The combat is so involved, and there's so much like stuff to do. How like a lot of the game no, depends on being stylish. It's stupid. And no, Shut up. And I, I, I sat back and listened to your stupid kiss game. That's true. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um... I mean, I mean, we talked about five on the last one coming out. I'm super excited for that, and I I probably played the most recent DMC one the most, the one by Ninja Theory, the one that everybody gave shit over because Dante not having the hair or whatever. But they missed out on a good game. Can I can I say something? What? That it's shit? Did you? No. Did you like or were you annoyed or you didn't care? Because wasn't the third one technically a prequel? Like, wasn't the third one technically before the first two? Yes. Like, weren't they, weren't they like, made out... Like, not made, but story-wise out of order? I'm trying to... Let me see if I can remember the order. I think the order is... I think it's three, four, one, two, and now five. Really? Four was, I think. like... But then how come you didn't see Nero in the originals? I don't know. He, uh, he just wasn't there. Man, I hate when they do that. Like, it's, so, it's weird. You know. And now the newest one is like the yeah. most recent. Jesus. Well, that makes sense. They're all yeah. old in the the picture. They're all older. I, yeah, I know for sure that because five is now the most current, and then the one directly before that is the second one. Because the second one ends with Dante riding a motorcycle into hell, and now in five we saw him riding his motorcycle out of hell, and within he's older. Oh shit. Yeah. So that's uh, tight. Yeah, and people hated too because it was it was not the gameplay was weird. Oh, too. Yeah. What was weird about it? Yeah, it just it wasn't a lot of weird design choices with the combat. Uh, it wasn't as fluid as the other ones. Like, yeah, yeah, pretty much. It was kind of broken, but um, that game also has the coolest looking oh, gotcha. Dante. <laughs> like he has the coolest coat and stuff. Uh. -oh. Um, so yeah, just I just Devil May Cry as a series, like the whole. I can't pick one. Was the whole series? Well, I think besides four, weren't wasn't the whole series on PS2 or was the first one on PS1 and then the it was PS2. Oh okay. Even the fourth one? No, the fourth one was. Or was um, that on PS3? PS3 uh, 360. Okay. Just making sure. I played the fourth yeah. one. I think I had it on my 360. I'm kind of I'm contemplating getting the definitive edition that came out like a year ago. Apparently they improved just, a lot no, of shit and added tons of stuff. Oh really? Because I remember. Yeah. Um, I didn't know nothing about the story. I don't know nothing about Devil May Cry, but I remember playing the fourth one and being annoyed because you start off playing as Nero through like four or five levels, and then the game switches to Dante and you're replaying those same four or five levels. That like, that's my game. biggest. That's so my like biggest problem for. And that's why it's not okay, on my Okay, so that wasn't just me? Or whatever. No, no, no okay. that was me too. A lot of people hated that. Okay. But what made up for it is the fact that Nero played really cool and the different style style switching and stuff makes up for it. And that fucking arm, that devil arm he had. Uh, yeah, and that's coming back. If you get the pre-order yeah, edition, you can get essentially a vibrator arm. <laughs> oh, god damn it. I know, they went fucking... And he also has one that has like a... Uh, like beaters for like you know making cookie dough or whatever. <laughs> oh god damn it! I know it's pretty great. And you also, if you get the pre-order, he gets the Mega Man's uh Buster on his arm. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. And you can fire it like 
you can hold it and charge it just like Mega Man. So I'm excited for that. Oh shit! Got to pre-order it then. Uh, well, you better believe I will. I'm getting the deluxe oh, edition yeah. for only seventy bucks. Only ten dollars oh, more not that than normal. Eight thousand dollar cut one. Because it's no thanks. <laughs> All right, ready for my number two? Uh, number three? Or oh yeah, you're on number two. Yeah, you went first. Yeah. So again, I'm going to the Dreamcast because right. that was a lot of my youth. All right. Uh, Sonic Adventure, the first one. Uh, okay, yeah. I again, I never got to play. Loved it. the fuck out of that game. It was just so good because like. It was an open world, and you got to run around, interact with different kinds of people as Sonic, and it was just like, wow, this is new. But then when you went to the levels, it was still level-based like it was back in the day, but now they had to change the view because now it's, you're behind it, not sideways. And uh -huh. it just worked really well. Like I don't know why all the newer Sonic games get the shit wrong, but Sonic Adventure got it right, and I just loved the fuck out of it. And it had like uh, eight or nine different... Pl players you could play and you went to different worlds as those like there was Knuckles and like the Chaos Monster that stupid cat that everyone hates that was annoying because you had to fish Big the Cat or whatever uh, Tails yeah Big the Cat Tails the the Girl Knuckles like oh it was just it was so good um this is not completely related but I played recently they made uh, Sonic or Sega All-Stars Racing free or whatever oh yeah oh they I did yeah, I play that game uh, doing another stream with another friend, and that game is surprisingly great. Wow, really? Better than yeah. Mario Kart or yeah, as I, good? I, it was pretty good. Like, the level design was really huh. interesting in it. And you can play as Wreck-It Ralph in it. Oh, shit. I don't know why, but he's there. I don't know why, but... Huh. Check that out, then. Yeah, and also, I think Sonic... Oh, what is it? Sonic Generations? The one where you can swap oh, yeah, between yeah. classic Sonic and new Sonic. That was pretty good. Hmm. I got uh, Sonic um, on my Switch. That new Mania? One, where it had, like, yeah. I, I, I heard that was good, too. It has new levels. It has new levels, and then it has, like, the older levels. And I, Fuck, man. Sometimes I forget. I thought maybe, oh, it's because I was a kid, but I still can't beat some of those levels. And I'm like, fuck, I'm almost 30. No, I know. I'm like, probably going to get that when so it's hard. on sale. <laughs> no, yeah, that happens. It was only 20 bucks. I, Is it twenty bucks only? Hello? I think so. Yeah, it's only nineteen ninety nine. Oh, well, maybe I'll just pick it up sometime soon. Yeah, a lot of get, uh, value. I'm, I still haven't beat it. Yeah, I remember playing um, Sonic Three all the time at a friend's place because he had a, he had a Genesis and I didn't. Fuck yeah, I had that one too. I never owned a Sega console. Man, what the fuck's wrong with you? Uh, we had Nintendo here. Uh, we had I don't know. Uh, you know what? That's how it was, though. Every, there was people that were super divided. Like, my friend, yep. he had nothing but Nintendo growing up, and he got the GameCube, and he got PlayStation. I had Sega, Dreamcast, and then I went Xbox. Like, everybody, there's like a solid line between people. Well, it's not like nowadays where all the people who played games growing up are adults and can buy all the systems. Like, we got one, and that was That's it. true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I got a... My favorite Genesis, my favorite Genesis game was uh, Boogerman, a pick-and-flick adventure. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Um, all right, I guess moving on to my number two. Um, yep. We got Mortal Kombat 2 on arcade uh. slash Super Nintendo. This is... Um, it's, I don't, it's not the best Mortal Kombat, but it is my favorite. The, the look of it, the story of it, which, I mean, there's not a lot of story to find in it. You have to dig deep and read a lot of stuff about it, because it's, you know, it was back then. Yeah. But there's a lot of uh, crazy shit, and the fatalities got just bonkers. Like, this is the game series that invented the rating system, essentially. Yeah, true. Yeah, so, I mean, Mortal Kombat 2... And it was the first time my favorite character in the series was playable, Reptile. Oh, it was, huh? I, I spent so many, so many hours playing this game. Be in the one of my one of my dreams to have a stand up um, Mortal Kombat 2 arcade. It can be I, a possibility. I almost you can even fucking build your own. Just build the I cabinet could. sides I and have, have like get an old the, TV. Yeah, I know. I did find um. There was a Mortal Kombat 4 arcade that was selling for 800 bucks, and I almost got it. But I was like, no, 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 not 4, not 4. Need 2. Jeez. 
Mortal Kombat 4, though, stands as the first Mortal Kombat arcade I actually beat in the arcade. Oh, really? Yeah, I played as Raiden. I just, you know, his cue was kind of broken in that game. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, if you're playing the arcade version, get ready to get fucking slaughtered by the AI, because this is the time period where games are designed solely to eat quarters, and you will lose. <laughs> One of the hardest things I ever did was when they released the Mortal Kombat Arcade Edition on 360. They had the first, like, three in there, and it was the, all the arcade versions, so it was just as hard. I actually managed to beat all of the games and got a 100% achievement score in that game. Holy shit. Yeah, there's an exploit with Katana in number two that makes it easy. Oh. <laughs> it's like if you jump and kick in a certain direction, Kintaro will always do something and so you can kind of exploit it that way. It's still hard to find, because doing the same thing over and over is hard to find. You know, you fuck up, and once you fuck up once, you're dead, pretty much. Yeah. But it's like the only, one of the only legit ways I could ever beat the second, the second game. Damn. Yeah. It was also the first uh, instance of Shao Kahn. Oh, yeah, it was. I mean, this goddamn fucking hammer and shit. Yeah, I know, and he would, he would taunt you mid-match. It was crazy. Uh, yeah, the fucking asshole. I know. So yeah, MK2. Oh, also, fun fact: when I was a little kid, um, everybody would be drawing like, "Oh, I'm gonna draw Ninja Turtle. I'm gonna draw this guy." No, I was drawing like fucking fatalities. <laughs> God damn it! Fuck yeah! All right, what's your number? Not your like top, but your last one. Yeah, my last one. Which uh, kind of might be number one in my heart. Okay. Is, uh, I saved mine also for that. Hate it. Uh, yeah, you're going to fucking hate it. Uh, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind uh, on the Xbox. Never played the first Xbox? Um, yeah, the original Xbox. Okay. Oh my god. I spent like 300 hours on that game growing up just playing the fuck out of it, exploring <laughs> all of Morrowind and just fucking shit up. What makes it better than like Skyrim? I, well, it's mostly, like, nostalgia. Honestly, there was a lot more shit you could do. Like, there's a lot more individual shit you can up um, level up compared to just, like, uh, in the newer ones where it's just like, oh, you moved up, you leveled up your, you know, I don't know, this. But the other one, you could level, you literally, if you jumped a lot, you could level up your athletics. If you walked everywhere, that leveled up your athletics. If you did certain things, it leveled up, like, it, a lot know. of individual shit. They do that in GTA Five now. Oh, really? Yeah, like, if you swim, it increases your, like, lung capacity or whatever, and if you get in fights, it increases your strength. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it's just all that, and then exploring, it was like, that was honestly my first taste of, like, an RPG, and I, it just grabbed me. It, the only thing that was a little bad about it was you had to read everything. Because back then, they had some voiceovers, like the character would talk, but it wasn't as voiced over like, you know, like it was not Oblivion on, but it, like where they would actually like say whatever it is they're saying, like, oh, you're from this, you know, what are you looking for? Like, no, you just have the little character say something like, uh, like, oh, nice day today, but then you'd have to read the text of what they were saying. So it was a lot of reading, but, oh, and the journal was bad too. The journal, the journal? you, yeah, because it didn't, it didn't have quest logs like in Oblivion or Skyrim where it tells you okay, I want to select this quest, and then it gives me a marker. There was no marker, so you had to read of like, oh, okay, I, there's a cave past this rock on this road, and then you had to legit go find it. There's no markers to, like, lead you to the cave. And if you got, if you accidentally fucked up and talked to somebody else or got more missions, but you never finished that mission, then you got to go back in the journal, like, back pages to find, like, where you left off Jeez. on it or where you needed to go. So, like, that was the only part that was bad. But other than that, like, it was just a fucking autumn game. It was big for what it was back then. To me, it was it was pretty fucking big. I uh, I never had an original Xbox. Really? God damn, dude! What the nope, fuck? I had a PS2. Uh. Yeah. And I still I have got, my original Xbox. I'm staring right at it. Uh, I didn't go to Xbox until like Xbox games behind it. Because the PS3 launched oh, like six hundred dollars, which is fucking insane. Well, yeah, man, I got some good ones too. I got fucking. Painkiller, Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 4, Crimson Sea, Simpsons Road Rage, Time Splitters Future Perfect, even Goldeneye Rogue Agent. Fuck yeah. 
Uh, All right, so what's your number one, buddy? Okay, I um, I had a rule Hate that it. I wasn't gonna have. No, no, no. I'm sure you, no, you would. <laughs> I had a rule that I wasn't uh, gonna have repeat like franchises on my list, so I had to pick one. So otherwise, both of these would have made it, but um, I had to settle on one, and it's the Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, because uh. I it is. What a revolutionary game! Uh, from like beginning to end, the, the Z target thing that games still to this day use. The the storytelling of it. I mean, now the game looks like crap because it's so blocky. But back then, it looked really good, and it came out ninety eight. Yeah, I will admit it did look pretty good back then. Yeah, I mean, of course now, like it looks better now with the get if you get the th- uh. 3DS version. It looks great. I do have it, but I told you, the furthest I made it I know. was the Dooku Tree. I, and I don't understand it, because it's easy. It's hard to like, say. I was, stuck, I was stuck on that when I was a little kid. Yeah, well, you know what? People age. People I d- grow I mean, the game's right? really, Relax. really easy. It's, I, you can't save often, how are you, it fucking sucks. How are, you can save as much as you want. No, but then it doesn't load you right back where you were. It loads you back at like the previous temple. But you, you don't at. just don't turn the power off. Just close it. <sighs> yeah. Oh. My switch is never off. It just goes to sleep. Oh, that's so bad. You gotta turn it off every once in a while. Uh yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I I've uh, probably played through Ocarina of Time. I'm God. I don't even. It's definitely, it's probably in, like, the 20s. I mean, my friend still plays it to this day. He plays it over and over, and I'm like, it's not that entertaining. Uh, it is, though. I just beat it before I bought the Switch. That was my <sighs> rule. It's like, I was like, I was playing through Master Quest, which is the harder version, and stuff, where stuff is mixed up. It's like, alright, I'm gonna, yeah. after I beat this, I'm buying the Switch, and, it, and when, once I beat it, I bought the Switch. And then played through Zelda on that, which we all know how I feel about that game. Yeah, they're just going to listen to our previous episode. Uh, yeah, so Ocarina of Time made it. The one that almost did, that I had to exclude, was A Link to the Past on Super Nintendo. That one's pretty good. That was, when I was a kid and I got my Super Nintendo for Christmas, uh, the two games I got for it was Mortal Kombat 2 and A Link to the Past. And as you can oh, see, God, they, they were <laughs> on my list there. They shaped you into the man you became. That's true. I never had it because I never had a NES or SNES growing up. You missed out. But I did get a link. To, I did get a link to the past for my Game Boy Advance. I fucking loved the fuck out of it. I played the uh, shit I know. out of it. Yep. It was pretty good. Yeah, and then they put out a Link Between Worlds, which is kind of the spiritual successor of a Link to the Past. Because the, which the, that's the map, good too. The map is the same, and the art style is you know pretty much the same. And yeah, I, I played through that yeah. one several times. Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm sure you are. That one's even easier. It's harder. It's, it's like not. Double the it's, it's so fucking easy. It's way fucking harder. Uh. Ooh, evolution's about to start. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's four o'clock. It's we gotta hurry up and end this so we can start. Uh. So we can start our wrestling podcast, buddy. Uh, I I don't have the network anymore, so I'm I won't be watching that. Um, so uh, yeah, that those are our top five lists. Leave a comment or something, and what, you know, what's your guys's list? Do you agree with us on anything? Hey, did, do you disagree? Did, did you? Did we agree that we were gonna make a top five movie list too? I I don't remember. We I don't think we ever talked about that, but I don't see why we couldn't. No, true. Oh, it was the top five uh, breakfast or food fast food breakfast <laughs> like. fast food items. Yeah, we that we did. Yeah, right. which that's for I don't oh, know what that, the fuck that's for, but. That's, that could be the next episode. You know what? I we guess. sprinkle uh, all get to know us all throughout time. You top, know what I mean? top five favorite foods to eat while gaming. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, I don't know. Jesus. That. That's. Yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah. Hot pockets, mom. More hot pockets. Uh, Quaker uh, rice cakes. No, God. See, you had to ruin it. <laughs> you had to ruin the fucking fun. Those are good. What are you talking about? Get the the Thai spicy chili ones or whatever. No, no, yeah. no, thank you. 
I did have oh, a regular apple pie and ice cream though, as you saw before before we started this. So that does that make you feel better? That did. Okay, now it does. I didn't know if it was some type of like. No, oh, it's regular. Uh, wheat. I wish pie it was sugar free. Like you know what I mean? I God wish, but it. no. That's just been in my freezer for like over a year. <laughs> I just made it yesterday. Uh, okay. It, it's good still. <laughs> oh okay. Um. So really quick before we end this, um, I have been playing, as I mentioned earlier, Super Mario Odyssey. And I'm I just finished New Donk City. That's alright. That's pretty fun. Running around so, the city and shit. Like when you do the last part of that, where it's, you do the festival thing, that was so cool playing through the Mario old Mario stuff, like with that song that they have for that for that level. That was pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool. Um I'll tell you what, I'm I I have nothing bad to say about that game. I am enjoying it a lot more than I did Zelda. I told you. I told you. It's, it's like booting up the fucking Mario 64 again and playing it. You know what's, you know like what's funny, though? It's super fucking fun. I had a 64, but I never played Super Mario 64. What? I played it like at Are a friend's house. as a kid? I, what the I, fuck I never is wrong with it. you? I played the Marios on the regular Nintendo and the Super Nintendo a bit, but I, I never got on 64. If you had a 64, you had to have Goldeneye and you had to have fucking Super Mario 64. I like, didn't know you to have No, you know, no. You had to have Ocarina of Time uh, and Star Fox. Which no, I did. you didn't. No, no, you didn't. Star yes, Fox, yes. Fuck yes. I have Star Fox. Fuck yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. But but <laughs> you also had to have those two fucking games. So like what the fuck? I know. Is wrong I just I just I just never did. I never got it. Again, I can't buy my own games. I got God, little it, games dude. every now and then. And they kept coming up Mortal Kombat, so it's like I had to get those. Ugh. Fuck yeah. Well, I got nothing uh, left in the tank after that. And then I had to I get Super Smash Brothers, shit. and then I had to get uh, a, a Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Snap. You, you know what game's underrated and I fucking loved is Paper Mario on the 64. The, oh, fur, yeah, the but, original Is one. it underrated? I thought people loved that. I don't know. I know they made sequels like the Thousand Year Door for the, the what you call it, the uh, GameCube, but I don't know. Yeah. It's just I don't hear people talking about the, fur, the original that much. Is there one on Super Nintendo? No. No, the first oh, okay. one was on the 64. Oh, okay. I remember renting it from Blockbuster and almost beating it in the five days, but I couldn't beat it in time. You know what game a lot, of, a lot of people seem to like, but I don't understand because I thought it sucked dick? Yeah, Donkey, Kong six, Donkey Kong 64. Oh. I never played it. I hated it. It was basically trying to be like Mario 64. and it just Yeah, you know, exactly, but no. It doesn't work the same. You're coming off like Donkey Kong Country, one of the best incredible games ever made, and you go to fucking that shit? Nah. Uh, it's gonna be a no for me, right. dog. Uh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so mid game uh, thoughts, I'm loving Odyssey a lot. Ten out of ten. Uh, well let me know when let me know when god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> let me know when you beat it and then we can both talk about it and review what we like and what we didn't like. How far into it am I? Let's see, new doink. I'm pretty sure you got. I just beat it. One, two, the game. Oh, the doink. No. The, so what do you yeah. want right now then? What's the next lo level you're on? I don't. I haven't. I haven't traveled yet. I'm just. I'm like. I'm ready to travel, but I haven't. Okay. I think you have one, two, three. You either have like four, like four worlds left, or five. I can't remember. So I'm like midway point. A uh, little, little more than midway. I'd say. Okay. It's also really jarring to see Mario in with like real people. That is a little awkward. It's weird. But it's funny though. True. Cause it's like he's supposed to be a man. Like why is he so midgety and I uh, yeah, I know. Compared to other real people. I also wasn't expecting to fight Bowser when I when I did. You fight it well because you fight it multiple times. The end okay, okay. I'll I'll tell you right now, because I love the fuck out of it. The end was pretty fucking good. Like the fight or just like the ending? Well, I think the fight was a little pain in the ass, but the ending, okay. like, it was it was pretty fucking good. All right. I don't want to give nothing away, because I want you to be a legit surprise like I was. I bought Mario uh, the baseball hat, so he's wearing that now. <laughs> I bought it. I bought every costume I could. I need to go through and play so I could build up more... Uh, they don't benefit you at all, do they? Buy shit. It's just no, like no, look? it's just for... Oh, okay. It's, it's legit for show. There's some buy... things where it's like, 
oh, this door only opens for Explorer. So if you buy the Explorer yeah. outfit, that door yeah. will open to get a moon. But that's, I that's found it. That, There's I no found benefit. I in the lake one. I had to buy the, the scuba gear to get into the lake thing for the star. Yeah. The moon. Which I'll, I'll, I'll tell you now, the lake one was my least favorite level. Uh, it wasn't all, It wasn't that bad. If that's your least favorite, then least I'm favorite. optimistic about the rest of the game. Yeah, no, the other levels are fun. You Have you gotten to the the lunch one yet? Lunch? No, I guess not. I I, okay. I did the know. forest one, and then I'm not New Donk. Oh, okay. So, yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, that's, that, was, that was the only one that was my least favorite. Okay. Is there a giant world, like, in 3? No, that would have been cool, though. Oh, I really love the giant world in 3. That was pretty fucking dope. Yeah. All right, well we that's should, it for now. Just, we should do like a top uh, five other games we like list at some point. <laughs> God damn! So basically, just list every game we've ever liked eventually. Uh, just, uh yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, we could be more in depth. We could say like our top five first-person shooters, our top five RPGs, oh. top five arcade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm on board with that. All right, do shooters. A lot of, either shooters next. Yeah. Okay. And then and then this fighting. Is, games. I'll, that's what this episode's gonna be called. Episode two, top five games we like. Uh, all right. And then the next episode, of, well, not next, but whenever we get topper to five. Like, yeah, t- yeah, toppest five are, uh, uh, first-person shooter games. <laughs> God damn it! Ugh. All right, everybody, make sure to go watch uh, WWE Evolution on the WWE. No, Network. don't. We gotta support our women, guys. <sighs> They should support them by not going to Saudi Arabia. We get, well, they're not because they're not allowed there. So they're. Good. Well, yeah, I know that's the problem. No, but we got to. You know support that they had them. to apologize to Saudi of... Arabia because uh, they aired during the during the last show there. They aired a commercial featuring women they had a and they had to of apologize. Women. Yeah, it's yeah. so fucking gross. <laughs> I guess. I mean, those guys have the right idea. They're just executing it wrong. Uh, they're executing them. All right, everybody. Yeah, exactly. That's the wrong. And part. journalists, but you gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep them down. Women, women need another place. Like the only reason why we're having all women. All right, get out, everybody. I'm stopping.